and Dan will edit. Hi, welcome. We're not live, but we have new content. Yeah. Okay. So if you have a magic circle, grab it. It's not super required. You might have weights at home nearby that would work or a resistance band. I always say come to class with everything and see what works. All right. So we'll just leave this here to start. All right. All right. So here we go. Let's start standing. All right. Arms come up overhead. Ooh, really feels good here. Okay. So pull that belly up and in and we dive down towards the mat. I know, I know, I know. So bend the right leg, straighten the right leg. Bend the left leg, straighten the left leg. Let's alternate here. So what I'm thinking, Miss Mindy, is we'll work out really hard for 15 minutes yeah. and then we'll spend the last couple of minutes of class, like the last 10, yeah. doing some great stretches. Do it. Eight, seven,
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Bend the elbows if you need to. Squeeze the ring in and out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, go ahead. Hinge forward. Arms come with you. All the weights in that left foot. Hold it here. Use that belly. Lift and lower that right leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. We come back down. Nice work. One side is always easier. Where's one side is so much easier for you? Okay. All right. So we're going to come into a wide cycle position. We'll come back to this. All right, so we're not gonna totally burn out everything at the same time. All right, so you're in wide second position, arms are in front of you, all right? So you're gonna come into a deep like plie, arms are in front, you're gonna side stretch over to the right and squeeze the ring here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come back through center, go to the other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come through center, release it out. Arms come in front of you. All right, we put it together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. We go all the way to the right. So we come up, we lower, side stretch to the right. Stand, down, side stretch. Lift. Six more on this side. Really get out of that hip. Five. Four. Doesn't look like we're doing anything. I promise it's burning. Four. You hear me grunting yes. back here. Three. <laughs> two. One. Very nice. Stand up. Shake it out. We're going to the left. Down. Stretch. Stand. Down. Stretch. Stand, six to go. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. How is that so hard? I don't know. Right? It's so crazy. But I'm grunting. I am sweating like a pig. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's come to the mat. All right. Beautiful. That was nice, though. Huh? All right, we'll put the magic circle on the outside of the legs up above the knee crease, okay? Feet are on the mat, arms are in front of you. We take an inhale, exhale, we roll down the torso, only to the shoulder blades, lift those legs up into tabletop, all right? Hands come behind the head, all right? Leg pressure into that ring, chest lifts. And seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Hold it here. Little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Lower it down. Woo! All right. Feet are uh, right there with you. All right. <laughs> your feet are right there. Right there. They're right in line with your hips. Arms are pressing like the devil into the mat. We take an inhale, exhale. We lift up into that bridge. Hold it here. Make sure you're breathing. Squeezing the abs and the glutes. We take an inhale, exhale. We lower down high back, middle back, and low back, tail and left. Inhale, exhale. We come all the way up to the top. Hold it here, right? Now press out, out, out into the ring. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold out that ring. Squeeze everything. Really compact it. Lift the arms up to the sky if you can. Pull the belly up and in, eight to go here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here and then melt it down one vertebrae at a time. Maybe lift up your knees, release that lower back. Okay, transitioning to the magic circle being in between your knees, like up above where the thigh is. It's gonna feel very Suzanne Summers-ish. Yeah, I have a hard time sometimes getting the right position of it. All right, so arms are pressing like the double of the mat. We take it in, exhale, we bridge up. Oh, I'm so afraid this is gonna snap. 
All right, hold it here. Same position here, we squeeze in and out. Eight, seven. Really think about those abs. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze in here, don't let go, breathe. Arms come up to the sky if you can. Breathe, breathe, breathe. For five, four, three, two, one, pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here and then melt it down one vertebrae at a time. Very nice, get rid of that ring. Let's rock side to side, releasing that lower back. All right, magic circles between the hands. All right, feet are in the same position. We take an inhale, exhale, arms are up to the sky. We lift up into that bridge just like before. Now, squeeze the ring in and out. Eight, seven, six. If you need to bend the elbows, that's fine. Four, three, two, one. Squeeze the ring, don't let go. Squeeze the abs and the glutes. We lift and lower the abs and the glutes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it here at the top. Let's pulse the arms to finish. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice, lower that all down. Lengthen the legs. Go ahead, grab uh, the magic circle if you have it. Put your feet in there. Let's just stretch our hamstrings real quick. We're not in a full stretch, it just would feel nice right now. For three, two, one, very nice. So go ahead. Um, Hands are still holding on to that magic circle. We're gonna go into a little bit of a teaser series. So all kinds of variations. Hardest variation is with everything low and then going up all the way uh, together. Or if you're having a hard time, you could certainly just have your feet planted and walk up the back of your legs. So we'll ease into this, all right? So we're gonna take an inhale, exhale. We're just gonna lift the torso up like a roll up. So get to that halfway position, all right? So hinge back. now. Go ahead, lift that right leg, maybe the tabletop or maybe straight. Then lift the left, all right? Maybe you need to come into this balanced position with bent knees. Maybe you need to have one foot down, okay? You pick what works for you. So go ahead, lengthen here, breathe. Squeeze the ring in and out. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, I want you to lower down the chest and the legs so everything hits at the same time. Nice and controlled. Beautiful. Now, you do a variation that works for you. We're gonna go for the full variation here. We take an inhale, exhale. We come up into a teaser. All right. Now, I want you to come to Pilates knee with the feet if they're nice and straight and beat the heel. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze the legs together. Let's open and close um, the uh, arms. So close the arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, let's lower everything down so everything hits at the same time. Let's take a deep breath here because that is very ab intensive. Yes. Yes. Three, <laughs> two, one. We take an inhale, exhale. We come up into our teaser just like before. All right. Now, I want you to go ahead and uh, right leg goes out three and four times. Three, two, ooh, hard to balance. One, come back through center, left. Three, two. Whoa, this is hard for me. One, we come back through center, lower everything down. Take an inhale, exhale, come right back up. Ugh. All right, this is it. Pilates V again, beat the heels. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze the inner thighs, arms again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. With control, lower everything down. Whoa. All right, let's get rid of the magic circle for a hot second. All right, so let's go ahead from here. Let's bend our knees, all right? We're gonna float them into tabletop now, all right? So arms can be reaching long towards the other end of the room, or you can have your head, neck, and shoulders down. I want you to zip the legs together with flexed feet. We're gonna bend and extend the knees in and out. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Hold them out there, point and flex the feet. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees in, hold them there, chest lifts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab your knees, let's rock side to side, release that lower back. 
So we're going to go into Pilates V for the next one. Um, do the same exact whole get up. And then from there, we are going to flip over on our bellies, do a little bit of work there, and then we'll get to our stretching portion. Okay. So I may have one more thing I thought of, but we'll see. Pilates V with the feet, some heels together, toes apart. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders if you want. If not, that's fine. Here we go. Inhale and extend. Exhale as you come in. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it out there. Point and flex. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bend it in. Pilates V. Chest lifts. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. Grab your knees. Let's rock side to side. Release that lower back. All right. Let's flip over onto our bellies. It's okay to go this direction, yeah? Yeah. I am full under face. All right. So let's lay down on our stomachs. All right. We want those hands right by our shoulders. We're going to take an inhale, exhale with the feet on the mat. We lift up that chest, squeezing the glutes. It could be a baby or a big one like I'm doing now. Mindy, I think, even gets further up because she's got good extension. We take an inhale, exhale, we lower it down. We take an inhale, exhale, we lift it up. We take an inhale, exhale, we lower it down. We take an inhale, exhale, we lift it up. We take an inhale, exhale, we lower it down. Two more here. Inhale, exhale, we lift it up. We take an inhale, exhale, we lower it down. Last one. Inhale, exhale, we lift it up. We take an inhale, exhale, we lower it down. Now this time you're going to put your hands right um, underneath you. Um, you can be on your forearms or flat wrists. Okay, lift that chest, squeeze the glutes. You can put your head, neck, and shoulders down if you want. All right, we're gonna go uh, pulse, pulse with the leg with a flex foot, kick your heel to the butt. Eight, eight, seven, seven. Super important here that you're thinking about pulling the abs up and in. It's six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, Last one, last one, very nice. Lower down for a second. I want you to put your hands behind you. Doesn't matter which grip you have, you're looking down at the mat. You're gonna do a kick, kick with both heels, kick, kick, then straighten everything out, squeeze and lift. Lower it down. It's a kick, kick, lift, squeeze, lower. Two more here. Kick, kick, squeeze and lift. It's a kick, kick, Squeeze and lift. Put the hands by your shoulders. Let's press back into that child's pose, stretching everything out. Man, that fan is good. Sweat dripping off. What? Sweat dripping off. I know, me too. I'm pulling sweater here. Make sure you're breathing here. It's three, two, one. All right, we're going to be in the four point kneeling position. This is our last exercise, I swear, Mindy, and then we are definitely getting out of here, okay? Fine with me. Okay. So, really think about this four-point kneeling position. We're going to start by lengthening that right leg behind. Really feel like you're pulling up on the abs and you're equally in uh, your hands and you're not dumping into that left leg. We're going to start with a flexed foot, all right? Lift and lower. Eight, seven. If you didn't get the memo, this is a glute and ab exercise. Six, five. It is very sweaty. Four, three, two, one, hold it here, point the toe, continue. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, extend that left arm. All right, everything comes in, squeeze and releases. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Hold it here. We're going to open and close the arm and the leg. Eight, seven, six, five. Not a big movement. Four, three, two, one. Lower everything down. Press back into that child's pose. One more side, and then we're out of here. We're going to stretch it out and get good stretches, okay? 
So come back into that same position, get a good setup, all right? You're gonna lift that left leg, all right? Point, uh, dig through the heel, we lift and lower. Eight, seven, make sure your abs are squeezing. Six, five, four, three, two, one, point the toe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it here, extend that right arm, everything comes in, everything goes up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it here, open and close the arm and the leg, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Go ahead, press back into that child's pose. That was a good enough workout. Yeah. Dripping, really dripping here. Make sure you're breathing. It's three, two, one. All right, so let's come laying on our back here. Grab your magic circle. If you didn't have a magic circle for the stretching portion, you could use a TheraBand, a resistance band, a rope, yoga strap, you pick it. So. Right foot is going in to the magic circle. Left leg is either long or bent. All right, I want you to put the magic circle so it's right underneath the pad of your foot. Dig through that heel. Make sure you're breathing here. Go ahead, we're doing that hamstring stretch. So really important, you pull the abs in. You're using the quad and you're stretching through the back of the leg. Take an inhale, then exhale and bring that leg closer to your body. Take an inhale. Exhale, deepen it again. Hold it here, it's three. It's two. And it's one. So you're gonna take the one hand, the outside hand, into the ring. You're gonna come across your body. You can keep your head, neck, and shoulders down, but you wanna look over the opposite shoulder. If you are not feeling it in the outside of that leg, you can also turn that toe down. But I don't want you to yank in so far that the right hip comes all the way up. Make sure you're breathing here. Three, two, one. Go ahead, switch hands. Bend that left knee out the opposite direction. I'm sweating so hard I can barely see. <laughs> so this is your inner thigh stretch. Really important, both hips are down. Hold here, it's three, it's two, and it's one. Now, keep that left knee where it's at. You can bend the right knee and take like a quad hip flexor stretch. They call this broken doll. I don't particularly like it with the ring. Some people do. I'm just not that flexible, sadly. So you should be feeling this for uh, the front of your leg. If you pull that belly up and in, you're deepening the front of that leg. Let's hold it here. Three, two, one, go ahead, you're gonna straighten that right leg, you're gonna put the left foot in, right above or at that pad. You're digging through the heel, you may notice one leg is definitely tighter, that's normal. Pull that belly up and in, take an inhale, exhale, and deepen that stretch, woo-wee. You take an inhale, and then an exhale, deepen that stretch. Hold it here, three, one, let's take it across our body and look over the opposite shoulder. If you are not feeling this in your outside IT band, you can point that toe down to the mat. I am already feeling it. Make sure you're breathing here. Three, two, one, switch hands, take that leg out to the side, bend the other knee, inner thigh stretch. Hold here. Three, two, one. Go ahead, keep that leg where it's at. You can bend the other knee for a quad hip flexor. Well, this head's not as bad. Make sure you're breathing here. It's three, two, one. Very nice. So, let's straighten those legs out. All right, let's take the arms overhead. Oh, that's a good stretch. Breathe here, it's three, 
two, one. We're gonna roll up to seated one vertebrae at a time. Spine stretch forward, grab those feet, okay? So, we're gonna hold it here for three, for two, and for one. Now, let's come into a butterfly stretch with the soles of our feet together. Now, if you are super flexible, you're getting those knees all the way down. If you're not, you're like me, you have your knees lifted. I want you to pull the belly up and in and dive forward with your chest leading towards the front of the mat. So you're deepening that stretch even more. Wow. Right? You would, who would think just going to be forward, right? Yeah. Breathe for me. Pull the belly up and in. Three. Two. One. Sit up tall. Extend that right leg wide. Keep the left leg where it's at. Arms come up overhead. I want you to dive forward towards the mat. Put your hands on the mat. Press the belly in, round that spine. So you're getting an inner thigh stretch and um, kind of a stretch through the upper thoracic. Pull the belly in, three, two, one. I want you to walk your hands over towards the right leg. Grab here, pull the belly up and in. I want you to feel like you're pressing that left hip back. So you're stretching out the side body and the inner thigh again. Is that what you feel, Mindy? Yes. Yeah. Make sure you're breathing. <laughs> Three. Days. I know. Two. One, I was never a cheerleader. I would have been a good one, though. Yeah, you could have been the flyer. I know. So you I was not tiny in high school, though. All right, so I mean, short I was. But anyway, left leg uh -huh. goes out. All right. Pull the belly up and in, dive forward towards the mat. And around through the belly, so you're stretching out the upper thoracic and that inner thigh. You may notice one side is not as terrible as the other. Make sure you're breathing here. Three, two, one. We're going to walk ourselves over towards the other leg, stretching out the side body and that inner thigh. Make sure you're breathing here. Ooh, let's go to the other side. Stretch the hips. I know, it's good, right? Three. One. All right. So from here, we're going to come. So um, we're going to stretch out our hip flexors and our hamstrings one more time. So we're going to come. So we're on our stomachs a little bit, or just on our hands and knees. I want you to put that right foot forward. Put your left leg a little bit back. Okay. So we're going to do our hip flexor stretch first. So take an inhale, exhale. If this hurts your back knee, maybe put a pad under. I want you to press into that left hip. Squeeze the glute and the abs. If you want to take a little bit more, you can put your shoulder and walk that foot out a little bit more. So you're going to also get to the outside of that leg. Pull the belly up in. Three, two, one. Make sure you're square with that right leg. Lift that back left leg, all right? And then straighten that right leg. So it's like you're in a tripod stretch if you were um, doing yoga. So you're getting a calf stretch on the back left leg, yes? Yes. And a hamstring stretch yes. on the front and right leg. So it's two for, right? Yes. All right, so I want you to take an inhale, exhale, try to deepen both of them. That calf stretch is really important. If you're walking a lot, maybe walking your dogs or just outside more than you usually are, you're probably using your calves a lot. Make sure you're breathing here. It's three, two, one, I want you to lower that back leg. All right, maybe walk the right leg out a little bit. Take an inhale, exhale. Use that left hip, uh, hip flexor, but you can also press out into that right um, leg with your shoulder, and you're going to stretch the outside of your leg that way. So you should feel stretched right here and right here. Yes? Yes. yes. Make sure you're breathing. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, we're going to walk our foot in. Lift that back left leg, straighten that right leg. See if you can get a little bit more this time. Really think about that hamp, that calf, because this is a great calf stretch. Three, two, one. Very nice. We're gonna go ahead, switch feet. This is a workout itself. I know, right? Oh. I haven't done a lot of these with you. No. All right, so. Again, if you want to get a little bit of that outside leg, you can walk the left leg over and then have your shoulder into the left leg. You're going to press that right hip forward and the left leg out. So it's really a lot going on here. Make sure you're breathing here. Three, two, one. 
two, one, walk that left leg back so it's square, lift that back right leg, lift the back, uh, the left leg. Now you may have to adjust your position if you're not feeling something here. I would be shocked if you're not. Make sure you're breathing, lifting that right heel, and the left heel is digging into the mat with both legs straight. Hold it here, it's three, it's two, and it's one. Go ahead, bend back down, maybe walk that left foot out, Put the shoulder into that leg, pull the belly up and in, hip flexor stretch on the right. Now, if you're not feeling a huge stretch on one side, you may have a tight hip and a loose hip, and that's normal. Make sure you're breathing here. Like, for example, my, I'm feeling a lot more in my left side than my right right now because this is my loose hip and this is my tight hip. Make sure you're breathing. It's three, two, one. We walk it back in. We're going to straighten out last time. Pull the belly up and in. Three, two, one. So go ahead. Let's come so both feet are together. All right? Down at the mat, really think you should be a lot looser through the back of your leg. You just eye it now. Yeah. Take an inhale, exhale, we roll up one vertebrae at a time. Arms come up overhead. We'll dive down. Last time, we dive down. All right? I want you to bend and straighten each leg. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, here we go. We roll up to standing. One vertebrae at a time. Those arms come up overhead. Hey, give yourself a round of applause. Happy day, new content. All right, we'll Thank see you guys you. soon. Bye. Bye. Water. Uh-huh.